We went to San Antonio. And we left on May 13th and came back. That was on a Monday. And we came back on the 17th on Friday. This was our first domestic trip. It's a little bit different from El Salvador because you're going out of town, you're going into a plane, so it's a little bit different. But this one, I didn't have any expectations. It's something I've really wanted to do for a really long time. So when it came up, I raised my hand to go. I think this one's a lot more meaningful because it's you're just in your back, almost in your backyard. I just wanted to show up. No expectations, show up and let God do the work. So when we were asked to do a one word testimony, at first I wanted to make sure I just didn't think of something just right at the top of my head. I wanted to really think on it, which is scary for me because I tend to overthink things. <laughs> so we had to pick a word that kind of described us or kind of meant something to us. So mine was just overcoming because I have overcame a lot from my past life. So my word was patience. My personal theme uh, for the week was belong. So the word hope, you know, I just, I, I always want people to feel like there's hope. And so that word just kept coming up, just kept coming up. My one word testimony was bold or boldness, but during the course of the trip, I just felt like the Lord quickened me in my spirit and, and I changed that to, to goodness. Um, I just felt like for me, um, his goodness, it's always there, but it was just, um, I guess I realized it more and more while we were uh, in the middle of the trip. We did a lot of things. One thing I really loved about the trip was we just had the opportunity to almost do two big activities a day. We partnered with um, Destiny Missions, but the organization that Destiny partnered with, and as we did as well, was His Bridge Builders. I cannot say enough wonderful things about these people. I immediately fell in love with this team. The His Bridge Builders people have been in San Antonio for a while now. They had not ever had a company come. And so when we showed up for the training on Gospel Conversations that morning, Mel is the guy who runs His Bridge Builders. He just got so emotional because he was so grateful to see that the business world, and there are people in it that care about bigger things. We met their team, we met their executive director, uh, we went through a little bit of ministry training and then just got a feel for uh, who and what his bridge builders are, what they do and how they operate. And then we, we kicked it off uh, that Tuesday morning in downtown San Antonio. We went into downtown area and we got to pray over people. And as he tells us what we're about to do, in my mind, I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me. It stressed me out thinking that I was gonna have to pray in front of someone. I just don't, you know, go up to a random stranger and say, hey, how do you need prayer today? Of course, they wanted to kind of push you to um, to get out of your comfort zone to let's pray for them or come over here, but they weren't gonna make you do anything by yourself. And then we spent time in an after school, a children's after school program. We got to experience an elderly population in a in a, a senior living center. We also spent some time uh, at Harper's Chapel. So the chapel provides for the homeless and for the the neighborhood that live in that area. So the people that live in the neighborhood, they give them a ticket and they get like their food, like they get like a place like a food voucher and they just grab all their foods. And then for the homeless people is outside. There was um, medical personnel there if they needed anything. There was a clothing uh, trailer so they could go through and they could get that. His Bridge Builders has, they're working actually to acquire this building and the projects with they, which they hope to convert into kind of a home base center for this needy community that will have after school programs and community outreach, cooking schools, you know, helping to equip them with life skills. And that was really, um, the whole thing was really eye-opening. They are outcast by their families. They don't have friends. You know, and being around um, some of that population, it, it's uncomfortable. But you think that they were created by God and they have a place and purpose on this earth, just like I do, just like you do. 
and they still need love and they still need people to talk to them and to reach out to them. You see these people that are at the lowest of lows and some of them don't have hope and you just want to give them that hope that and that was one of our prayer prayers one night and I thought it was so beautiful I wish I could remember um, who brought that up but the prayer was that these children know that this isn't their story you know their parents might have gone down this road but we want to give hope to these children and the parents of course um, that it doesn't matter where you're at in life that there is hope all these people belong in the kingdom and so many times during the week I thought this is who Jesus went to Jesus went these people that that the bleeding the, the ones with the sores, you can look back all through scripture, That's this is who he went to. And so we got felt like we really got to engage with that purpose and to walk with Jesus in a way that I hadn't done before. What we did and what we saw, it's right there in our communities. It's in Lubbock, it's in Fort Worth, it's in Atlanta, Amarillo, you know, Abilene. I mean, you could just go down the list of Permian Basin and there's a need. Uh, and I feel like that need is um, we need to, as a company, as um, a group of individuals outside of brandability, um, and we, we have a responsibility as believers to love on people in a better way. I see these people every day around Fort Worth. I mean, you know, you stop at a red light and there's homeless people um, everywhere, but have never really paid attention to them. And I feel like now I see them. So I think it's just praying more because you don't know what someone might need it or you don't know if you might need it just for yourself. Oh, it just, it makes my heart so happy. Um, and it just made me, as soon as we got back, I mean, even when we were there, but even just walking into restaurants and seeing people, it just makes me think, what can I, can, why can't I take five seconds, five minutes out of my day to stop and pray for that person? And now, they might not want that and they might say, no, you know, you never know what the encounter will be. But my everyday life has changed over this trip, and I just, my prayer has been that that fire keeps burning. I think we all felt really strongly that this is something that I think people will really, it will, I think it will change your life. And since the mission trip, there's just been so many things that keep, I keep replaying and I'm like, wow, he showed up this way. Wow, he showed up that way. And all I had to do was literally just say yes and just show up, no expectations. Let him use me and just show up. I'm so glad I went. It was great. I mean, the, the work that we did there, it was great, but it was also very rewarding getting to spend time, you know, with, with work family. It was really neat to go as a company because we got to be with coworkers. You know, you get to know people on different levels than you do at work. And I think that's always, always helpful. And it gives you a common bond that you can always remember. I've seen that with Living Water people that they, they can share these stories about, they know these experiences. They, even though they may not have shared the same experience, they, they've kind of shared the same experience because they've done this thing. So I'm super excited for people to go and do this again. Anything that I learned from this trip, you know, before going, I just, I kept telling myself, I want them to know there's hope. I want people to know there's hope. And if anything, I learned more, but there's hope for me as well. And um, it's just been amazing. I'm really thankful that I was uh, chosen to go, um, and I hope I get to go again soon.